Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of our Jaguar monitoring program in Belize. Belize is a small country in Central America, and our project is actually located along the uh, Saboon River, which is just south of Belmapan. The Saboon River runs northeast before emptying into the Caribbean. This project actually began several years ago when Professor Dave Cox and I were down in Belize with a group of students, and we had heard rumors of uh, some jaguars in the area, and we went out one day and found what we thought were paw prints, uh, took some castings of those, and then brought them back for analysis, and sure enough, they were. So on our next trip down, we started to set up these trail cameras. And basically, these trail cameras are designed to uh, take uh, pictures, usually groups of two or three photos, if anything breaks its field of view. So they're basically motion detectors. And we set up initially three or four of these, uh, three, I believe, and then eventually expand this out to our current number of six different cameras in the area. So what I want to do today is to show you some of the photos that we've gotten off these cameras. Obviously, we all want to see the big cats, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that kind of get us warmed up on here, some of the other wildlife we've seen before we start to look at those big cats of Belize. So as you look at each of these pictures, if you look down along the bottom, you can see the date and time that these were taken. And so a lot of these photos have been taken over a number of years, um, probably five or six years now. And we, you also get a camera number. And this helps tell us exactly where these different uh, photographs were taken. So we can share them with local researchers if the case they're looking for some sort of specific information on jaguars or certain prey species or something like that. So we have captured a number of different bird species, including this hawk, who's shown up in a couple of our different cameras. Um, normally hawks are, are a little bit more outside of this range. We're not surprised to see them there. There's going to be lots of wildlife here for it to be hunting. But sometimes we see things which we're not usually sure what they are. I remember the first time we saw this photo, uh, this guy right here, this is a, this is a, a greater curso. It is going to be, um, it was kind of bobbing in front of the camera, looking up and down at it, kind of posing back and forth. And uh, we went back to the camp and we were trying to figure out what it was, basically using some bird books. And then a little bit later, we did see that um, this is the female version of them. And we often see these in the area. There'll be a male and a couple of females walking through. Uh, these are ground birds. And uh, they're not rare, okay, but they're not usually seen, okay, because they t try to stay away from people as much as possible. But our sites are pretty far away from uh, any human habitation. We also see armadillos sometimes. Uh, armadillos are nothing new, okay, even here in the United States, okay. But armadillos are are going to be a, pr a f preferred prey of some of our um, of some of our big cat species. And we're also going to see these wild pigs, which are called peccaries. And uh, there's a couple of different types of peccaries in in in, in uh, Belize. Um, the, these types of pigs are actually quite. Uh, there's usually travel in packs. They're actually fairly destructive. They'll pretty much tear up anything in the area. One thing you'll always remember if you if you go visit these in the zoo is they have a really bad smell associated with them. So you'll know that they're in the area. But we often still see troops of these guys coming back and forth across our cameras. Another thing we'll see, which you may have never seen before, is called a tapir. This is the national animal of Belize. And a tapir is going to be, um, it kind of looks like a cross between an elephant, okay, and um, like a large pig. They're actually fairly large. They're very, very docile animals. Um, they are endangered, okay, and they're being protected by places such as the Belize Zoo and some of our other partners in Belize. They're pretty amazing little an uh, animals to see moving through the forest. This is a gib nut. Um, we see lots of these on our cameras. Um, they are often in there looking for uh, different types of, of, of food. They're usually found on the floor, the forest floor. And this is what's called a Cotamunde. So Cotamunde is when we see a lot of these moving back and forth across the camera. Um, the first time we saw one of these, it was actually just a tail moving back and forth. And we were trying to figure out if it was a raccoon. You know, it has a, kind of like a raccoon face associated with it. Um, but they're not, okay? And they are usually present during the day. Um, in front of our cameras, although we have seen a couple at night as well. And here's another picture of some Koto Mundes. This guy is called a Tera. And a Tera is kind of related to a weasel. Um, it has kind of a weasel appearance to it. It's kind of a, war look like a large weasel. Um, we have only ever seen one of these on our cameras. Okay, and you can see by the date time stamp on the bottom, it was relatively recently. And when we first saw this, it took us a little bit of time to figure out what we were looking at. But that's kind of some of the fun about uh, being a biologist and getting some of these pictures is being able to go research and learn a little bit more about these. And terrors are, are um, actually very interesting animals because they are omnivores. They eat almost anything. They can actually climb trees. They often look for honey and fruits. But often they're usually found on the forest floor, uh, sometimes hunting in groups. 
And what they do is they usually look for small rodents. Uh, insects they'll eat as well, amphibians and reptiles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start to look at some of our big cat species. And the first I'm going to show you is, is something called a jaguarunde. And the jaguarunde is um, really probably the one of the most least studied of all of the big cats. It's sometimes called the otter cat um, in Belize because it's kind of a small one of the smaller big cats. Um, they're really very interesting uh, uh, creatures because they actually have a vocabulary of like 13 to 15 sounds, depending upon which person you talk to. Uh, they don't usually have very, the, the big cat sounds you're used to, but they can chirp at each other and make different sounds to other jaguarundes in the area. And they were some of the first ones we ever saw on, on our cameras. And we, now we routinely see them in this area that we're at. In addition to the jaguarundes, we also sometimes see ocelots. And ocelots we almost always see at night. Okay, This is one of our night cameras. Our cameras have the ability to see uh, things in the evening as well. Um, it takes with an infrared camera. And so um, we see a lot of these ocelots actually back where we are um, studying. And um, we're actually starting to look at some of the ocelots to determine whether or not the pattern's on there. Ocelots are a lot like jaguars. They have kind of unique patterns associated with them. Um, how many different types of ocelots we have. But we do see a large number of these ocelots, but only at night, and never when there's any of the other big cats around. So here's some more pictures of some ocelots. This is going to be the puma, or sometimes called the cougar. Um, you actually see in the background one of the setups we have here with our cameras. We often set our cameras from two different positions. So in case you know the puma or walks into one area or the big cat, and you know we just want to see the back end of the cat all the time. So it'll break. So we'll have cameras sitting right across from each other to get two different photos or two different views of these. There's a large number of pumas here. Um, we usually see pumas during the day, but we have seen some of them at night. And we almost we'll see pumas, jaguars. Uh, jaguarundes and ocelots all in the same area. So this is not, these are all different cameras, okay, these cameras are not separated by that much distance. These, these are all these big cats are living inside of one area. And so this is another picture of, of our puma friend. If you look at the side of this puma, you're going to see those little lumps on the side of it. Those are actually bot flies. Uh, it's like a parasite that's found in the tropical rainforest, and they lay their lay their larvae onto the onto the cat, and it kind of it's it's kind of like an infection associated with it. Um, but we have seen quite a number of these pumas there. One of the things that we do want to mention before we get to the jaguars is there's actually five species of big cats. So we've already seen the ocelot, the jaguarunde, the puma, and we're, and we're going to go ahead and see the jaguars in a second. The fifth species is called the margays. And margays, the reason why we haven't seen them is because margays are tree-dwelling cats. They spend most of their time up inside the trees. And most of our trail cameras are posted down towards the ground. So we're actually going back now and trying to reset some of our cameras so that they are looking more up into the trees to see what's up in that area. But we don't have any pictures of margays, but we know that what you really want to see are the jaguars. And jaguars are very much a national animal of Belize. Okay, um, well, the, the tapir is their national animal, but the Mayan cultures and the people of Belize um, take very, very good, good care of their jaguars, including the people at the Belize Zoo. And we've been very, very lucky to see a number of different photos of these jaguars in the area. And the spot pattern, okay, which is called, um, on, on, on a jaguar, is basically like a fingerprint to us. Okay, so each, each jaguar has a slightly different uh, fingerprint associated with it. And we've been working with people to try to determine how many jaguars are actually in this area. You've probably also heard of black jaguars, okay? Black jaguars are just a variant of this jaguar. We usually see black jaguars further inside the inside of the uh, rainforest, not on the edges where we are. And we have yet to see any of them on our cameras. And this is actually a rare day photo. If you look just behind the jaguar on the right-hand side, you're going to see that there's a smaller jaguar uh, right behind it. Jaguars are solitary creatures, okay? They do not travel in packs. And the one behind it is probably a young that we had um, uh, following its mom, okay, in, uh, through the forest. And here's one more picture of the jaguars. And we're working very closely with the Belize Zoo and other organizations to try to get these photos out there so we can start to study these wonderful animals. And about every three months when we go down there, we actually change out the cameras, bring the new photos back, and then... Um, uh, have, have people study them. Um, we're working with a number of school systems, which allow us to, you know, use this as, as, as student projects. And if you're ever interested in doing some some sort of work for us or studying jaguars, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to have a chance to talk with you.